Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. So it almost doesn't even really feel like we're starting a new Let's Play since I just beat the game yesterday and this video should be going up like the day after the finale for the first game starts, but let's let's go ahead and roll on into Phoenix Wright 2 and see whether our buddy Rido can bring justice for everyone. This time, the lost turnabout. Yes, let's go. No, J JK, I don't want to play it. I was lying. Let's play over. Uh, uh, what are we doing? Do we have a scary dream? How did I get into this mess? That's far enough. You can't run forever, Mr. Phoenix, right? You'll eventually have to pay your damn rent. What? What have I done wrong? I cannot allow you to go on like this. Uh, but I'm just a simple defense attorney. Silence. You are no longer worthy of your title. No longer edge worthy. <laughs> Ooh. What a nightmare. I bet it was this ringtone that caused it. I really shouldn't be dozing off right before a trial starts anyway. Yeah, that's not a good look, dude. Also, please answer that. Huh? Looks like they hung up. Ah, good. I finally found it. Uh, sir? Have you ever thought about not looking so fucking evil? Talk about a close call. I hate to do this to you, but... It's nothing personnel, Mr. Attorney. And he teleports behind us. You know the meme. A few minutes later. Ouch. My head, it's throbbing. Why does it feel... So, oh no, did he not go to court? <laughs> is that what happens? He just, he gets knocked out and is left in the lobby? And nobody thinks to like... Oh man, I wonder what that dude's doing there. I wonder if we should uh, see if he's okay. Eh. Why does it feel so foggy in there? Uh, what? Good morning. Ah. Uh, good morning? What's wrong? You don't look well. People at their best first thing in the morning. Where's that fighting spirit? I'm not at my best first thing in the morning. But sorry, but can you please turn the cheeriness down? My head sort of hurts. Roger that! Uh, am I in trouble or something? Huh? Trouble? Wait, never mind. You're a policewoman, right? I thought maybe I'd done something wrong. What are you talking about? I'm the one in trouble. What? I'm placing my life in your hands today, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Life? In my hands? You promised me. You said you would prove that I was not guilty. Well, I mean, we promised a lot of things. Like, we promised our landlord that we'll definitely pay rent this time. As soon as we finally give a case that uh, actually gives us money. N not guilty? Just when I thought all hope was lost, when all their lawyers had laughed me off. Leave it to me, you said. You, the one and only Phoenix Wright, came to save the day. And just like that, I was moved to tears, sir. I'll never forget what you're doing for me, ever, unless, of course, you find me guilty, and then I will murder you, somehow, from jail. What is this girl babbling about? Actually, I really would love to watch court proceedings, and I always wait for you to win. And when I'm off duty, I like to come here and... Well, I can't tell you because the game is rated PG. What's wrong? You've been acting really strange and you keep staring at me. You're making me kind of nervous, sir. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, I'm afraid to ask, but here goes. So, uh, this might sound bad, but, uh, who are you? What? Mr. Wright, how can you say that? How can you do this to the fragile heart of a girl about to go on trial? Come on, uh, Wright, just read her nameplate. Now, you may be wondering, how do you say that? I have no fucking clue, dude. A bird? I guess bird, probably, because she's got all the feathers. You're absolutely horrible. 
No, oh, I mean, I didn't mean it like that. Is this how a defense attorney treats his client, sir? I can't believe this. Uh, well, I think you have the wrong person. I'm... Yes, I'm... I'm... Phoenix Bright. <laughs> you must have me confused with the very famous, very talented, and very rich lawyer, Phoenix Wright. I'm... Who am I? Why am I drawing a blank? The trial will begin shortly. Will the defendant and our lawyer please proceed to the courtroom immediately? The trial's about to start. I'm counting on you in there, okay? I guess I must have amnesia. Let's see. What can I piece together? From the sound of things, it's probably safe to say that I'm a defense attorney. And that girl. I said I'd prove her not guilty. can't believe I made such an irresponsible promise. Ah, someone! Please! Anyone! Tell me this is just a bad dream! How do I get the feeling this is one dream I won't be waking up from? I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? Ooh. Ooh, a new music track? For me? Court is now in session for the trial of Maggie Bird! Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Man, I hadn't seen you in forever. Well, what is it, Mr. Wright? Uh, <laughs> are you talking to me? Because I don't see anybody else here. Do you see any other defense attorneys here? I, I guess not. Now then, are you ready? Eh. Um, I shouldn't have said that because it, it maybe gives me a tutorial now. What if I said no? Would that be all right? Of course it wouldn't. Then why bother asking you to begin with? <laughs> Actually, you see, Your Honor, my memory is kind of... Man, I'm getting big deja vu here. The court will not hear the defense's excuses. Because the defendant is a member of the police, this case is under great scrutiny. Therefore, we must make this trial fair, but swift. I believe I've told you this before. I hope you're not telling me you've forgotten. I mean, forgotten is such a harsh word. More like... We don't remember. The memory has been misplaced. Actually, I have. Mr. Payne, your opening statement, please. Ah, uh, yes, Your Honor. As I'm sure you're well aware, the defendant is accused of killing her lover. What's worse, her lover was a fellow police officer. I mean, no, it's not worse. It's just as bad. Whether What their occupation was has no bearing on the value of their life, actually. A policewoman? You did what to a policeman? It wasn't me. And besides, Dustin and I, we weren't lovers like that. In any case, the prosecution will prove that the guilty party is none other than the defendant. Uh, very well. Mr. Payne, please call your first witness. <laughs> it's been a while, Mr. Wright. Let's see what you've learned since last time. I won't show you any mercy this time, rookie. Okay, and who are you again? The prosecution calls Detective Dick Gumshoe to the stand. Here we go. Don't let me down, Mr. Wright. Where to hide? I'm so dead. Oh, witness, please state your name and occupation. Name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. You don't look very well, detective. Well, sir, the defendant, he works under me, so, you know, it's kind of weird. You work under that detective? Yes, sir, and while I was a trainee, he was always watching out for me, sir. He's such a wonderful guy, sir. I'll never forget what he's done for me. Okay, calm down. I believe you. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Well, uh, the dude's dead. The end. It happened at the park near headquarters, Expose Park. The victim was one of the local cops, Dustin Prince. He was pushed down from the benches on the upper path, sir. How do you know that? The landing beat his body up bad and snapped his neck. The details are listed in the report that was distributed yesterday. Ah, yes, this autopsy report, correct? Uh, Judge, can I peek at yours? I left my book at home. 
Why do I not remember getting a copy? I see everything is in order here. Even the estimated time of death is unusually well documented. Yeah, it kind of does happen sometimes in this game. The victim's watch stopped from the impact of the landing, sir. The, detect the results of the autopsy confirm the time of death. If I may, Your Honor, the prosecution would like to submit this photograph. Uh, very well, the court accepts it into evidence. Okay. Now then, I recall yesterday's preliminary hearing. We have those? A very important piece of evidence was brought to our attention. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Y uh, yes, sir. Haha, <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Mr. Wright, is your head on right today? Get it? I made a pun, because your name is Wright, and I use the word right in a sentence. It happens a lot in this game. It's a very crucial piece of evidence found under the victim's body. Uh, was there? Have you lost your mind? Well, actually... Uh, it's just nerves. G give me a second. I mean, this is only like our fifth case, dude. How can you talk like such an amateur? I thought you were a pro, sir! All right, sir. I'll help you through this. At a time like this, maybe you ought to take a glance at the court record. Oh, the... got a cell phone? I don't remember what it means or how it got there. Okay. The pieces of nearsighted lenses were found nearby. Okay. So nearsighted is probably important. So they weren't... Wait, so they were found under the body? Found under the victim's body. And so the pieces were found nearby. Okay. I was going to say, if it was found nearby, then where are they? But... Okay. Okay, nothing really we can do with this. It shows that I'm a defense attorney. Court record? Yup, info about evidence and people involved in the case are all listed there, sir. My client. The only thing I can recall is that she's a policewoman. The victim, he was dating the defendant. Kind of a slight age gap there. You're 53? What the hell? Um, really? You can look at the court record by pressing tab. Actually, uh, no you can't. Actually, you can. Okay. I was, I was going to make a joke about how we're using a controller, but uh, it actually does support switching between keyboard and controller at a whim, which is nice. It's too bad. I'm a cop, right? Just think. I could totally be a legal aid instead. Just uh, remember how to hit play on the boombox, all right? Yes, Your Honor. Court is in session. Save your chit-chat for later. All right, Your Honor. Well, uh, I guess I'd better check the court record and see what I can find. What was it again? Tab? All right, Mr. Wright, let's see if your notes are in order. What was the piece of evidence found underneath the victim's body? Some glasses. Tell me. That's simple, Your Honor. A broken pair of glasses. That's right. Actually, we're right. The victim grabbed his killer's glasses as he was being shoved, sir, and held onto him as he fell. Hey, why are you giving me the evil eye? Well, you know, you're, you got you got glasses, like... Those glasses you're wearing. Uh, I mean, yeah, this is my spare pair. But those glasses they found at the scene of crime are not mine, I swear, sir. You sure about that? Look, it was a coincidence that on that same day I accidentally stepped on mine. Uh, Your Honor, the court would like to enter a guilty plea for our client. A coincidence, she says. Ugh. <laughs> Your Honor. I have further evidence to present. Oh, you have more? And this evidence is very decisive. Oh god, I've always wanted to use that word. Very well. Let's hear it from our witness about this evidence. Ooh, all, more new music. There's something even more incriminating than the glasses under the body, sir. During his date, the victim was pushed from the bench area, but he managed to write the culprit's name on the ground where he landed. G Gumshoe. Buddy. Pal. Every time there's been a situation where someone tried to write their name, it's been wrong. Every time in this series. T 
That looks fake as hell. That it's either A fake as hell, B I don't know, he was professing his love as he died. Those are the two two options. I don't like saying it, but it was clear the defendant's name. Maggie, sir. With this maybe he was writing something else, you know? He was writing I can't think of a word that starts with Maggie that isn't actually Maggie, but there's probably a word out there. With this piece of evidence in the glasses, it's hard not to say she's the culprit. This is a picture of the writing, Your Honor. I mean, he is still kind of moving his hand, like, you know, he wants to make another, another something. Why, this is, yes, I can see her name is clearly written here. The prosecution would like to submit this picture. Understood. The court accepts it in evidence. As if the glasses alone didn't make you suspicious. Anything else here? Not really. I mean, his finger looks a little weird, but I think it's just the shadow. The victim even wrote your name clear as day on the ground. But, 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 I already told you, those glasses aren't mine. And how do you explain his dying message? It's a conspiracy. I'm not guilty, sir. Mr. Reich, you may cross-examine the witness. Cross-examine. Now, those words, when put together, what do they mean, Your Honor? What is a word? This is it. I'm counting on you. Sure, but what am I supposed to do? I just pressed the button, dude. This isn't like you at all. Normally, this is the part where you get in the witness's face. Get in their faces and do what? I guess there's no way around it. Okay, I'm going to lend you a hand. Prosecution's witness all hide things from the court, which means they all lie from time to time. Lie? But isn't that detective your superior? What if you actually did it? Well, even if they don't mean to lie, sometimes people just remember things wrong. Huh, like that detective. He sort of looks like a scatterbrain. It doesn't matter. Either way, it's bad for us, sir. That's why when you question witnesses, you have to find and expose their lies. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Talk about trial by fire. Here goes nothing. As long as I can expose the lies, we should be all right. All right, um... How about you... Instead of saying that, you hold it? Um, about those glasses. Do you have any proof that those belong to my client? Uh, the lenses are for nearsightedness, and they are almost the exact same strength as hers. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. I mean, a lot of, I mean, you know, glasses strengths aren't super precise. Even the frames look kind of like the one she's wearing in her ID, pal. Is that true? Not really. Hmm, what should I do now? Get pressed, nerd. Hold it. Almost and kinda are not good enough in a case like this. Uh, do you have any more definitive proof? Is there something that clearly links that offended with those glasses? Uh, um, the dirt and sand rubbed out any traces of fingerprints or anything. So what are you saying, detective? Is that you have nothing that proves those glasses are my clients. So, something like that. That might be one way to phrase it. I wouldn't phrase it that way, but uh, I could see how you might phrase it that way. What? What? I see. Hmm. So there is no proof. Well, all right. Trial over. Wow, that was amazing. I could totally feel it down in my gut. Okay. What proof do you have that he was pushed? Now, you're sure he was pushed and that's how he fell? Uh, yeah, pal. If you look at the wounds on the victim's body, there's no way it was anything else. What are you talking about? Body was covered in bruises. Okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Well, I could see how you could come to that conclusion, but... Maybe he was just into pain play and he was bruised before the date even began. Please continue with your testimony, detective. Anyway, the victim fell pretty far. The culprit's name? Yeah, I was surprised too. I didn't want to believe it, but... 
Was the name... Was that name that of my client? I don't like saying it, but it was clearly the defendant's name. Maggie, sir. Are you absolutely certain? Sorry, pal, but that's what it said. This is a picture of it. No matter which way you look at it, it still says Maggie. Oh, wait, wait, wait let's look at it. If it's upside down, does it say anything different? I mean, could, the M could be a W. I can't think of what, what an upside down I would be. I mean, a, a, an exclamation point? I can't think of what the G's would be upside down. I'm like actually like turning my head like an idiot. I don't know. Hmm, he's got a point. Hey, hold on! Cause, let me look at it again. Oh, wrong one. Cause I mean, the only thing the I could be is an exclamation point. Right? If it's upside down or something, if that's what they're going for. So it would be like W... I don't really know what the A would be. I mean, it could be like a B, but it's not facing the right way, right? Or WD, but no words start with WB or WD, so I don't think it's supposed to be upside down or anything. Don't huh me! I know the picture says Maggie, but now that she mentions it, something does feel kind of off about this picture. That's how you know you found a contradiction. Now hurry up and present some evidence. That's what spotting a contradiction feels like. Better check the court record again. Okay. Well. And you're certain that it was the victim who wrote the name of the ground? Uh, there were scratches on his fingers from the rough sand. What? What are you talking about? You wouldn't scratch your finger up from the sand. Now, there were grains of sand stuck under his pointer finger now. I mean, that's that's better evidence. Lead with that next time. Hmm. During the scenes, the name was written by the victim himself. I didn't go well. If the victim really was the if the writer really was the victim himself, then we're in a lot of trouble. Don't give up! Keep that fighting spirit going! I'm glad you're all pumped up, but I really want to see your special move, sir. My special what? You know, you always look so cool when you present evidence and you say that thing and then your assistant plays the boom box. Present evidence? Oh, that present evidence. Actually, I was just thinking about that. Yes, the great Phoenix Wright is back. Oh, that's right. Uh, yes, we're right. I heard that lately you can present not only evidence, but people's profiles as well. Ooh, a new mechanic for me. It sure makes things a bit more complicated, so be careful, sir. People's profiles, huh? All right, let's give this another try. So the fact that they mentioned that must mean that's what we're supposed to do. What all do we have? Ah. It's spelled with a Y. A little, little Y. I'm guessing that's what, they, what they're going for. Get blasted. Uh, what is it? Don't you dare. What? What's come over me? Without thinking, I just blurted out, OBJECTION! And I yelled at the top of my lungs, finger outstretched, ready to heckle my opponent like I'm a fucking weirdo. I'm gonna become an internet meme at this rate. What a rush. Detective Gumshoe. Uh, you talking to me, pal? Please state the defendant's name for me. What are you trying to prove with this futile exercise, Mr. Wright? <laughs> You'll see. This is a very crucial line of questioning. Actually, Mr. Payne, you can answer the defendant's name if you please. <laughs> Wait, where is this ridiculous question coming from? The defendant's uh, name is... Uh, Maggie Bird. You fool. I think someone needs to check the court record. Uh, what? It says right here it's Maggie Bird. Ah! That looks like the bird caught the cat napping. W what's going on here? I have no idea either, sir. As you can see, <laughs> the victim did, in leave, did indeed leave a name. Maggie. However, the defendant's name is actually spelled Maggie. It's completely different. This is a blatant contradiction of facts. Oh. 
How about that? I hadn't even noticed. But, but, but. Uh, but maybe the victim didn't know how to spell her name correctly. Bullshit. Objection. They were dating, weren't they? May I remind you that it was you who said the defendant is accused of killing her lover? If they were truly lovers, it would be impossible for him to have not known her name. Ah. This is very true. Mr. Payne. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Are you absolutely certain the defendant and the victim, Dustin Prince, were in fact lovers? Uh, yes, I am quite certain, Your Honor. I have the pictures to prove it. They were a well-known couple in the police force. Detective Gumshoe. Please testify for the court the relationship between the victim and the defendant. Yes, sir. Officer Prince and Officer Bird have been going out for about half a year. It sounded like they were even talking about marriage. The day of the incident just happened to be the victim's birthday, sir. Maggie, I mean, Officer Bird had gotten Officer Prince a present. It was something she had brought over two months ago. I should know, because she came to me to ask what she should get for him. I told her he, she should get some of this, and I grabbed my crotch. Uh, that's why I've got a sexual harass complaint on my file. Uh, th those two sound like they were close. Nevertheless, tragedy struck. Hmm, I see. You may cross-examine the witness, Mr. Wright. How do you know about this? Every year in March, we have a training camp for us cops. Officer Bird was a rookie at the time, and she and Officer Prince seemed to hit it off. They got close, I take it. Actually, I was supposed to go too, but uh, I couldn't pay the deposit for the trip, so I didn't haul oh, poor, poor, poor gumshoe. If I only I had gone on that trip, what, what is it? Oh, uh, nothing, sir, really, anyway. Marriage? But wasn't the victim eight years older than her? What? You saying a guy's gotta marry someone the same age as himself, pal? Uh, no, that's not what I meant at all. Hector Gumshoe and Dustin are only a year apart, you know. Oh. Uh, I think this fella has a ways to go before marriage. Mind your own damn business, pal! Okay. Oh, we got an achievement. Mind your own business, pal. The day of the incident just happened to be the victim's birthday, sir. The day of the incident? You mean September 6th? Uh, yeah. The victim, Officer Prince, had just gotten off duty at 5.30 p.m. that day. And since Maggie's night shift hadn't started yet, they went out to the park for a bit. Ah, I remember when I was young and in love. Oh, it was a jolly time. The 1440s. Just a really swell period of history. That's great, Your Honor. I'm glad you're such a cheerful old man. Maggie, I mean, Officer Bird had gotten Officer Prince a present. You seem to know a lot about the defendant. Uh, I'm not a stalker. You're a stalker. Shut up. Uh, that's because, uh, I'm her boss and I gotta watch out for my subordinates. But even what she was going to give as a present, isn't that going a bit too far? Hey, pal, watch what you say. I know everything that happens under me. If someone so much as scratches their... I really don't need to know that much. The witness will testify as to what happens when someone scratches themselves underneath him. Uh, Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. I agree. Even if this witness is a crush on the defendant, that should not be the point of discussion at this time. Whoa, wait a second. Why are we talking about this? It's all your fault, pal. If you're guilty, 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 I should have you arrested. I think the good detective is about done here. over two months ago? Yup, she's a very considerate woman, pal. So, what was his birthday present? A gun to shoot him with. Uh, she got him a glove. A single glove? Why would she only give him one? Um, actually, Your Honor, the glove in question is a baseball glove. Oh, I see, a baseball glove. Uh, now I just need to remember to look up what the hell baseball is. 
Officer Prince was a huge baseball fan. A baseball glove. Hmm. Get pressed. Just now, I believe you said the present was something she had bought over two months ago? Uh, yeah. Are you saying she brought the, bought the glove at a store that far in advance? <laughs> nah, nothing like that, pal. And what is it like? She ordered it. It was custom made. Custom made? The glove was custom made? Yep, that's what I said. Hmm. So the glove was custom made. <laughs> Your Honor, I really don't see how this glove is related to the case. Yes, it would seem there's little relevance. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Do you think this glove, uh... Um... Um... I mean, he ain't got a glove on him. I'm gonna say no, and then we'll press the last statement, and then we'll we'll circle back if we have to. Um, I suppose it isn't really relevant. Then, then why were you wasting the court's time with irrelevant questions? Uh, I was curious and got carried away, Your Honor. Witness, please ignore this airheaded lawyer and continue with their testimony. Detective Gumshoe, please tell the court about why you knew about the baseball glove. You discussed what the defendant was going to give her boyfriend? Well, um, uh, uh, she, uh, trust me, so... Boy, does he look proud of himself right now. What is it this time? That testimony didn't sound like it had any contradictions in it to me. There just wasn't anything that really stuck out as odd. Yeah? I wonder what would happen if you tried to get more information from him. Get more information? Yeah, you know. Like, uh, we, we've been pressing, lady. I'm, I'm the master of pressing. I saw I should try pressing him, huh? Okay, so we definitely are supposed to... What was it? This one? So, what do we present for the glove? I mean, my initial thought is that the glove... Like, if he was given the glove at the date... I mean, they mentioned custom made. It's custom made. It's a glove. That's custom made. It's a custom made glove. Now, why is that important? I don't know. I mean, I guess it's just that like the glove isn't in the picture, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything per se. Of course it's relevant! That glove is the key to this whole case! Yes, bluffing to the max! Now this is the Mr. Right I know! I'm so happy you're back, sir. Granted, man, I actually want us to present anything to back this up. We could just, you know... This may spark another testimony. I'm so happy to see you're back, sir! I was wondering how long it'd take! This is great! Hmm, pressing people. Feels like I've done this before! As if I used to do this to squeeze information from even the most tight-lipped people. Very well. If you are that convinced, then let's hear some more about the matter. Actually, I brought the glove with me today. And? Why didn't you say so earlier? Hurry up and show the glove to the court! So I can figure out what the hell a baseball is. I didn't think it had anything to do with the case. Anyway, this is it, sir. Okay. I, I'm, the only thing I can think of is that maybe it's like a left-handed glove. So he wouldn't be writing with his right hand. I mean, it, well, I mean, it looks like a right-handed glove. It's, a uh, rather yellow, isn't it? It was custom-made. Officer Prince really liked the color yellow. That's why you had to special order it? Yep, that's right. That and, uh, one other reason. Uh, tell me the reason. I think the court has heard enough. It's clear that a victim and the defendant were involved with each other. Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. Now, if that is true, it brings up an important question. Was the name Maggie really written by the victim? I see the, your point, Your Honor. Um, Detective Gumshoe, please tell the court a little more about the name on the ground. Uh, yes, sir. And this is where normally I would probably end the first video, but I think we'll try and push through and, like, 
finish this whole tutorial um, for the first video. I, I don't really know if that's possible. If it ends up being like an hour or something, we'll probably like cut the video here though. And part two will just uh, start without an intro. We first looked into the handwriting. Unfortunately, we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting. Next, we checked the victim's pointer finger. We found that there was sand trapped under the victim's fingernail. There was also scratches on his skin that were caused by him writing on the ground. From this, we can confirm the victim wrote this name with his right hand. Okay, so it's definitely, it's probably a left-handed glove. Yeah, that's a perfectly logical conclusion. Now then, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. But can you really determine handwriting based on a sample written in sand? <laughs> this is why amateurs are amateurs. We're not a bunch of simpletons, pal. Scientific investigation in this country is actually pretty good. We've even got a 16-year-old running our department. I mean, uh, well, not not really. That, that that canonically has not happened yet. And technically, she's not going to run the department. She's not going to run the department until she's 19. I mean, come on, we're not crazy. Uh... I believe it's time to get back to the real point. Agreed, Your Honor. So, what was the result of the investigation? So, in the end, you couldn't confirm it. Hey, don't you look down on us, pal. I told you, we're not a bunch of simpletons, pal. Everyone knows you can't find out everything you want with scientific investigation. I've never heard that before. Me either. Nor I. I've never heard anything like that at the, the police academy, sir. Well, why don't you guys go fuck yourself, okay? I'm going home. I don't want to be ridiculed in this courtroom no more. Okay, so I made it up. Anyway. His pointer finger. You know, the one you're always pointing and waving around in people's faces when you say, OBJECTION! <laughs> Don't tell me it bothers you. Every time you do it, I have a mini heart attack. It's like you're trying to kill me. In any case, you examined the victim's index finger, correct? Uh, yeah, we figured there should be something on his finger if it had been writing in sand. Hmm. And the results? Well, uh, you know, it had, it had sand on it. And what does that prove? Well, it proves that he... Did write that name with his own finger. Yes, which explains why there was sand stuck under his nail. I guess he's right. And there's more. Yeah, but I mean, this doesn't actually mention that it's a left-handed glove, though. And I mean, it looks like a right-handed glove to me. Um, but I feel like that's definitely what they're going for. The fact that they've mentioned right hand a few different times. Yep, you can't see him with your naked eye, but they're there. That is incredible. There is. That's the power of scientific investigation. They're so small that we had to use a magnifying glass, like a, like a really strong one. Like a comically oversized magnifying glass. It's got that real scientific sounding name. You mean a microscope? Nah, that's fucking stupid. Uh... Yeah, that's it. We'll use one of those, and that's how we found him. I can't believe this guy doesn't know what a microscope is. I can't believe you're such a freaking nerd. From this, we can confirm that the victim wrote his name with his own hand. Or with his right hand. Are you absolutely sure? I believe in the power of science. Hmm. I wonder if my evidence is solid enough to counter with. Listening to this, you would think there was only one conclusion. The name was definitely written by the victim. But don't you think that would be really strange, sir? If Dustin really wrote that message with his right hand, you think I would have gone through the trouble of getting him that present? Okay, so... that That's your hint that it's a left-handed glove? Alright. Now, I mean, it's like a one hand, I get why it doesn't say... If it said it was a left-handed glove, it would maybe be too obvious. But at the same time, just saying it's custom-made doesn't 
really mean it's a left-handed glove, right? And it doesn't look like a left-handed glove to me. Detective Gumshoe, take a look at this. Uh, that's a glove, right? Can you tell the court what is special about this glove? Well, special? Uh, never really thought about it, but, uh, well, it's real, uh, real glove-like. It fits, uh, just like a glove, as one might say. It's, uh, really yellow, and that's about it. Yes, it's really yellow, but that, it's only one of its qualities. Huh? There's another reason why it's special. And what would that be? It's very simple. Get the boombox ready. Get the boombox ready. This glove is made for a left-handed person. Left-handed? Well, you're absolutely right. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that, that makes sense. Yeah, because you would wear it on your, on your right hand because it's not your... Uh, and I'll be honest, don't have much experience with baseball, but yeah, that, that is true. That's why it had to be custom made. So it looking like a right-handed glove is how it was made for a left hand. Okay. I have never seen a bright yellow left-hander's glove for sale, have you? Well, uh, no, but I got that fancy eBay website name. You could probably find it on there. So, Detective, which hand did the victim use to write the name with again? That's easy. Look, it's obvious from this picture that it was his... Wait, wait a sec. Don't forget that the victim was left-handed. Ah! Uh -uh. no, that is, this is, I mean, uh, object... Overruled! Mr. Wright, I would like to know what is your line of reasoning proves. <laughs> There's only one conclusion that can be drawn. A left-handed person would not have written a message with his right hand. Therefore... The person who wrote the name Maggie could not have been the victim. Order! Order! What do you think about it that way? Yes. It is not possible this name was written by the victim himself. And that means Maggie is... Uh, no! It's not possible! Mr. Payne. Uh, yes, Your Honor? The evidence the prosecution has presented has failed to prove the defendant's guilt. In fact, I believe you have proven her to be innocent. Ah. All right, you did it, Mr. Wright. Whew, I feel like I can breathe again. Seems that we have reached their conclusion. Did a fine job once again, but like, aren't we gonna like figure out who the killer was and expose them in front of everyone? That's normally what we do. That's kind of our MO. Me, Your Honor? <laughs> well, uh, thank you, sir. See, you got complimented by the judge again. You're really good. And that's why you can't give up being a lawyer, sir. I mean, I would guess the killer is probably the guy who whacked us upside the head with a uh, fire hydrant. That would be my wild and wacky guess. Are you joking? I'm more than I'm more than ready to retire. I will now announce my verdict. Unless someone were to dramatically jump in. N no, not yet. I mean, uh. Please give me a few more minutes, Your Honor. What is the meaning of this, Mr. Payne? The prosecution is not finished yet. What do you mean? We would like to call our next witness to the stand. Wh what? And what did this witness witness? The moment the victim was pushed to his death. What's more, he saw the very face of the culprit. What the heck? Order! Order in the court! I believe a recess is in order. After it, we will hear from this new witness. I had a feeling that was a bit too easy. Hmm. I need more information. I'll have to see what I can find out during this recess. I can't let my guard down. It's only going to get tougher from here. So this is, this is a pretty natural stopping point. We'll probably stop here. Looks like the tutorial case is a little bit longer than the tutorial case for the first game. Ooh, new save music for me. Goodbye, old save. We'll, we'll forever be lost to time. Maybe try and keep one of our old saves just for uh, posterity's sake. But uh, we'll see how uh, who this new witness is in the next video. I'm Extra Cheesy 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.